sandblasted. So we've already done the sandblasting. And the sandblasting will stay in the recesses because first I'm going to use the wire brush and that won't get down into there, but it will get a lot of the surface. Um, and then next I'm going to use a surface conditioning wheel which will just hit the top areas of this piece. Now we're ready to put our liver of sulfur on. Now we'll let this liver of sulfur set for a minute um, and then we'll take it out and we'll burnish down this surface. This will give you your darks and lights. Uh, now that I've burnished it back, uh, we're ready to go heat it up and see if it's too dark or if it's dark enough. Um, once you put liver on, you can't really tell how dark it is and when you look at it after you've uh, uh, scotch brighted it, uh, scrubbed it, you have to go in and heat it. And when you heat it, that turns the color or the liver of sulfur darker. And so... Uh, now that we've uh, put the liver on uh, the piece here, the bronze, this is silicon bronze by the way, I'm going to start out with ferric nitrate. This is uh, the heaviest strength I have. Uh, generally ferric nitrate per gallon uh, is like uh, 80 grams per gallon. Next I'm going to come in with ferric nitrate. Again this is the 80, 80 grams per gallon, the strongest I have. And I put in red iron oxide. The third one is a, a Sculpt Nouveau product. This is our uh, red dioxide. This will be the last thing I will put on for transparencies. This will give me the most transparencies because the dye and the oxide are so finely ground they're transparent. Uh, and then I will put a, a glaze coat over the top of ferric just to seal it really good.
the brow and the nose. Yeah. 